Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Golden ones, empaths. When you experience being blocked by the narcissist involved in your life, it can hurt your feelings. You can, you can feel a temporary sting. It can feel like it's over. Um, you can feel like you're a reject in some way. But you have to look beneath the veil with this one. You have to understand fundamentally the reason why the narcissist involved in your life placed the block on you. You see, they placed the block on you because they can't control you. They placed the block on you because they're trying to assert dominance over you. I touched on this in a video yesterday, but I wanted to get a bit deeper into it. Because you've literally won. You've literally won. They've blocked you. It's because they can't manipulate you to the way that they want to manipulate you. Right? So then they withdraw. It's a, just a tactic that they use. They just withdraw. They go quiet. They use silent treatment to punish you. To make you feel like a reject. It's deliberately done. They can't face you. Right? They can't hear the words you have to say. Because your truth is too powerful for them. The empath and the chosen one's truth is too powerful for them. You'll break them apart. If you got into an actual face-to-face -face interaction with this narcissist that was involved in your life, you'll destroy them. And they know you will. So they put the block on you to try and move the goalpost. They put the block on you to try and make you chase after them. They put the block on you so you feel alone in the world. In whichever type of relationship this is, romantic, friend, family member, colleague, associate, it all remains the same. The reason they're putting the block on you is to punish you, right? Because you wasn't given in to their ways of doing things. You wasn't given in to that, that, that false narrative they were trying to play on your life. You wasn't given in to that. You were resilient. You were strong, right? So they believed it was the best way the best way to handle the situation this is what they believed in their heads they believed the best way to handle the situation was to put a block on you and by them blocking you it will make you desperate now you may have been desperate for a period of time you may have felt like you really needed to speak to them for a moment of time but if you just look beneath the veil and realize you don't actually need to say anything to them you've said everything and more and it caused them to back away. It caused them to withdraw, to punish you. Because they felt hurt. They felt narcissistic injuries are inflicted. They felt damaged. So they conjured up a plan to make you desperate. And this plan involved them blocking you. Right? I can guarantee if they've blocked you on their phone. Or they've blocked you on WhatsApp. They've guar I guarantee you they've left an entry f for you to reach out to them. It's just inevitable. They will because they're curious about what you want to say too. As much as they're putting the, re the restraint in place and they're blocking you, they're also curious about what you have to say. So they'll leave one entry place open. So, you know, if they blocked you on the phone, they might leave their social media open, etc. But please do not reach out to them. Do not speak to them. Do not try and attempt to speak to them. Because they're only going to continue in their way of being like, oh, you're bothering me. They're going to make out you're bothering them. You're annoying them. This is what they're going to play at like. When really they, they, they'll love to hear what you have to say. Because they want to see the damage that's been inflicted on you. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. Take two seconds of your time. Thank you. So just understand, you've won. When a narcissist puts a block on you, you've won. You've escaped the clutches. You don't need, you, you know, you know how many victims of narcissistic abuse across the world are like stuck with this narcissist involved in their life and they can't escape from it. They, they feel trapped. They feel like the, the, the stronghold grip of them being in their lives every day. They don't see a way out. Right, you've you've got an easy way out now, right? They've blocked you. That's it. So what? It actually backfires on them. 
because the longer you leave it with this block in place, I made a video yesterday about how they take the block on and put it off and they, they, they play around like that to check whether you've, you'll reach out to them. But you've got to understand that they've put this block in place, but it backfires on them because as much as they want to try and control you and put you in your place so you don't, so you can't speak to them. They get very curious and wonder what it is you have to say. They get very curious and want to know how damaged you are. So all the while, while they've blocked you, they're still spying on you on your social media from fake accounts, etc. They're still trying to find out from flying monkeys um, if this is the case in your life, um, where you're at in your journey, how you've healed. So just understand you've won. You know, you've actually managed to get out of this unscathed. It's actually the universe and God protecting you, you know. It caused this person, this narcissist that was involved in your life to put the block on you, to run away from you, to ghost you, to cast you aside. But in reality, they've put the block on themselves. And this is why you've won. Because they've been capped now. They can't speak to you. They're so stubborn. They're probably not going to reach out. They'll reach out to flying monkeys or they might spy on your social media. But because they're the one that put the block in place, they're gonna, for them to reach out, they have to get very, very, very desperate. And they also probably bear in witness to you moving forward with your life unhurt, unfazed by it. Just realize that you don't need to say anything to them. There's nothing your words are going to do that are going to brighten up this situation. There's nothing you can say or do that is going to resolve this situation. And they've got it in their minds to punish you. And they believed that their best recipe for disaster in your life was to withdraw, was to go quiet, was to block you. And they believed this is how they could punish you. But in reality, you've won. You've literally won. When someone places a block on you, you've won. That is how it is. They can't handle you. They can't handle what you have to say. They can't handle what you've got to say. Right? Your truth is too powerful for them. They're scared. Not because you're going to hurt them or something like that. They're just scared of your truth. You walk with such an aura as a chosen one and empath. Your, your truth is so powerful. You'll tear them apart. You'll break them apart with your truth. That's why they backstep. That's why they backpedal. That's why they've gone ghost. Because they can't handle your truth. They tried to break you down. They tried to grind you down. And it didn't work, right? It didn't work. So they resorted for this plan of going ghost, of blocking you, to try and punish you. And ultimately, they've stopped themselves from being able to communicate with you too. And that's another reason why you won. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you'd like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I've got a secondary channel, a spiritual channel. Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three-day free trial by visiting silentmembership.com. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.